had a routine call. We had to go out and pick up a Humvee. Our job was to recover trucks and all that stuff. So we went out to recover it, and everything went well on the way out there. On the way back, we hit a, um, we were taking a right turn and we got hit by an IED. I have one amputation below my knee and one amputation above my knee, and my right hand was almost cut off. <laughs> they sewed it back together. I was with him in Iraq. We were in, um, in the same platoon. I was actually the last person to find out about what happened to him. But when um, I finally got to the hospital to where he was at, he was already in surgery. I was in a Bamsey hospital for about a month, just sitting in the hospital healing and everything and getting all my, my surgeries done for my legs and getting them sewed shut. Then I started my therapy and I've been in that for probably about eight months now. And I've been working on my prosthetics and everything, trying to get walking back. And it's a slow process, but I'm getting better at it. At home, I have sort of a makeshift handicap house that the Army provided. My kitchen's so small, I can't turn around in it. I have to go all the way to around my kitchen to get, like if I have to turn around or something. My bathrooms, the doors all go the opposite direction, so I can't really fit in the bathroom. Well, jumping in the shower is pretty difficult. I just got like a regular bathtub like everybody else, but I have to pretty much just dive in. And then, oh, it's kind of dangerous to me. I'm always afraid of like slipping or something, like cracking my head open, which I really don't need. Um, getting out's a problem too. I'm trying to dry off and jump back in my wheelchair when the tub's all wet. Well, the Homes for the Troops project is uh, going to help me get some freedom at home, being able to cook. It'll be nice because I'll have a backyard for my dogs to play in. I can go out there. There won't be as many ramps or anything crazy or unsafe for me to go up and down. I think it'll be great because if, you know, we have children someday, we'd be able to cook in the kitchen together. <laughs> and then if he needs help in the bathroom, I can always go in without his wheelchair being in the way. I'm amazed that people actually go out of their way to help wounded soldiers out. There's not too many people in America that are like that, that actually really do care about their soldiers. There are some that do, but this is just like going way out of the way for us. There's a lot of wounded soldiers out there that a lot of Americans don't get to see and that they don't really realize what's going on. There's a lot of people that come back that don't have all the body parts they left with and everything, so this is just amazing to me.